All right, well, let's go ahead. we got a couple of beer reviews tonight to do on this uh, Saturday night here, December 12th, 2015, here live on the Jake and Dark broadcast on online TV at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. Got a bunch of uh, Mill Street beers, sample pack, got the sample pack, and uh, Dar was so nice to pick it up for me, and what a nice, well, God love her, Dar. Okay, so anyways, this one's called the 100th Meridian. I haven't had this one yet. The hundredth meridian. Hmm, interesting, huh? Interesting. What do you think of this? Yeah, the hundredth meridian, organic amber lager, five percent alcohol by volume. <laughs> Brewed with organic prairie malt, and what? Bravo. And Cascade hops. Our one hundredth meridian, organic amber lager is firmly grounded in North America brewing traditions. This flavorful amber beauty is our quintessential American style craft lager. Read about our okay. Read all about it on such and such a time and such and such a date, and see what we got here. Let's try it out. Let's pour it up. Hmm. Yeah, I never had this one before. I've been looking at it for a while now. It's been kicking around our NSLCs for quite a while here in Nova Scotia. And I just haven't had a chance to bother buying it. <laughs> so there's what she looks like. Not a bad looking beer. Not bad, not bad. I don't know. Bit of a darker golden color. Golden yellow color. Golden yellow pea color. Not much of a head on it. Not much of a head. Uh, no head, really. Just a cap. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Not much of an aroma. Do we care? Probably not. Try to... Sp See if I can try to spill it all over the place and sniff it off the floor. There's a slight hop aroma. Uh, but nothing much to speak of on the aroma side of things. Oh well, cheers. See if this is worthy. Is it worthy? Hmm. I think it's got a little bit of that biscuity thing going on. That little biscuity, that little biscuity grain in there. Leaving a bit of a dryness on the mo on the palate. On the palate. Yeah. Yeah, actually this is quite a dry it doesn't doesn't say anything about it being a dry lager. But it's drying up in the mouth. <laughs> in the mouth. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Not bad, not bad so far. Seems to be fairly easy drinking. Uh, low low uh, carbonation. <coughs> wow. I wonder what kind of yeast they use to make it come out dry that way. Yeah, I'm getting real dryness off this one. Though. It's not uh, unfiltered, so... Uh, maybe it is slightly unfiltered. Maybe it is. Slightly unfiltered. It's going to come out a little cloudy on the last little drop. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's uh, rather beefy. It seems a little beefy for, you know, an orga organic 5% uh, lager. Organic. Hmm. It's got a bit of a, you know, it's got, it's, it's medium bodied at least. At least medium bodied. Maybe even more like full bodied, but. It's, uh, it's nice. It's, it doesn't have a, a lot in the way of hops, just a little bit of a hop flavoring, but not, not, not bad at all. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's got a little bit of sweetness in there too. It's pretty, it seems like it's fairly well complex and, and fairly well balanced to say so. I don't mind that at all. I could see me drinking that again. Something, uh, it's definitely not a beer. I would say, nah, I don't, I'm not gonna bother. But, uh, I don't know. It's pretty nice. I, I like it. Um, as far as the rating is concerned, well, at least three and a half out of five. I'd say three and a half out of five. That's something that I would say is amazing to me, but still pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Alright, cheers 17, keep your eyes full.